Blast beat number seven, the Switch Blast. Now the Switch Blast seems to have ownership from a few people. Some people call it the Dirk Blast. Some people call it the Switch Blast. I'm gonna call it the Tim Olson Blast. He was the first person I ever saw do it. He was in a band called Boop The Facts and he was really monstrous at it for sure. He used really big Ralph Hardeman sticks and he switched like crazy. But basically all it is, if you're trying to do a blast beat, I don't know, say like this, and you can't sustain for as long as the music demands or as long as you would like, you can switch your hands to have a break. So if the footwork's doing this, and you go, One thing I should mention is most people when they do it they're not alternating both versions of blasting because that kind of defeats the rest right so one hand is doing quarter notes while the other one is doing sixteenths or eight so right so if I go down here the switching would be four. right so one hand is taking over the hard job 